Uh, my name is Scott McMillan. I am a visual artist. I make um, uh, sculptures, mainly wall pieces and um, occasionally some monumental public artwork. I've always been interested in materials and uh, uh, recycled materials have always uh, fascinated me as far as uh, using items that have already been produced and made into something and then discarded and how you can use those items to make something else. The term for it these days has been, uh, it's been termed upcycling. Like recycling, but you're not um, melting down metal and making something new out of it. You're taking the discarded item and making something out of that material. So that's mainly why the cars, and I like the, uh, or the manufactured finish, the paint on them. The colors are uh, kind of interesting in how they uh, work with the process that I use to cut them. So that's, that's why I use the car parts that, and the, um, another aspect of the, uh, the cars I like is I like the, uh, the hidden or um, past life they had. All the stories that are attached to the cars and uh, the people that owned them and where they, where they went, where they were driven, um, is sort of a mystery but we all can relate to that because we've all been driven around in cars as kids, um, family vacations um, across the country. And so how these cars ended up in a junkyard where I then find the parts and use them in my art is all part of the story that's uh, is kind of fascinating to me. In the early days of this process in the series, I was using some uh, just discarded metal. Um, I kind of quickly went away from those and was just exclusively using car parts. Uh, more recently, I have uh, acquired uh, some plane parts, a wing for a, an old plane and a, um, some doors. And so I'm interested to play around with those parts and, uh, and see what they look like. I'd say my, my biggest uh, client so far has been uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. They have commissioned me to do several pieces on, uh, on several different ships. So it's, uh, it's kind of fun, they're, um, they're vacationing constantly uh, when I can't, I'm always out there on the ocean somewhere. But that's, that's kind of nice because they're in a, a public spot that is seen by you know, thousands of people every, every week. So um, they're probably my biggest, uh, biggest client so far. I have actually have been c contacted uh, out of the blue by, um, by passengers of the ship that uh, saw my name on the piece and, uh, and tracked me down on the internet and contacted me to, to buy a piece. So that's, uh, that's interesting. Interesting how that, uh, how that works and how people um, they see something, they, they research it and try to find it. Because it wasn't easy to find my uh, name on the artwork. It wasn't, I don't usually sign my artwork on the front. And um, so it's just kind of a, a good compliment, I think. I had a home studio in, um, in my garage for years. Uh, worked fine. I started making bigger work and um, and more of it and needing more space. So then I, uh, now I'm in this bigger studio. Uh, much better facility to, to be cutting metal up and, uh, and welding than in a home studio or garage. I've been here probably two and a half maybe three years almost now, and um, it's just been a really good uh, environment to, to make artwork in. Uh, the website is scottmcmillanstudio.com, and um, Instagram is scottmcmillanart. All right, thank you. Thank you.